friends, I am Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Earlier in my previous lecture, I have already explained about the transportation problem and one of the method of transportation problem that is Northwest Corner Rule. Now, in today's lecture, I would like to communicate how to solve transportation problem with least cost method. Now, first have a look at the matrix. These are the origins that is the points where from where we have to supply the items and these are the destinations where we have to supply the items. These are the cost individual respective cost from each origin to the destination that is from O1 origin the cost to destination D1 is 13 rupees from O2 O1 origin the cost to destination D2 is 11 and so on. Now, how to solve this transportation problem by least cost method, just have a look. Now, first of all, we have to look, check that the demand and capacity must always be equal. Now, here, the both the demand capacity is equal, that is 150. Now, we'll proceed further. First, we'll have to check out the least cost where we have to allocate the units. Now, oven origin can supply 20 units. So, the least cost here is 11 and the destination 2 requirement is 30 and origin 1 supply capacity is 20. So, we can give here 20 units. Here remaining is 10 and here the demand is satisfied. So, we will cancel it by dotted lines. Now, afterwards now we again check the least cost here it is 12 now th there are two 12 cost now to allocate which one is the question so when there are least cost are same will allocate at that point where maximum allocation can be given so here as the requirement is 40 and supply is 60 so we can give here only 40 units and according to this here the requirement is 50 and it can supply 70 units so we can allocate here 50 so it comes to 0 and it remaining is 20 and accordingly the demand is satisfied now again the least cost in the remaining cost is 12 so, we will allocate here 40 units as the requirement is 40 and here 20 is left and the demand is satisfied. Now, the, uh, uh, from the remaining cost, the least cost is 14 and the remaining demand is 10. So, here it comes to 0 and here it is left out is 10. It is satisfied. Now, from rest of the cost, the remaining is 17 least cost and the remaining left out amount that is can provide is 10 and here it is 20. So, the allocations are complete. Now, we will just check it out. From over origin, the capacity is 20. So, it is only 20. From O2, O2 it is 60. So, let us check calculate 10, 10, 20, 40, it comes to 60. Now, O3, it is 70, 20 and 50, it is 70. Now, accordingly demand wise, here it is 30, 10 and 20 is 30. Now, here it is 20 and 10, it is 30. Now, next it is 40, it is 40 and next it is 50 at 50. Now, the allocations are properly satisfied the capacity and demand requirement. Now, the next step is to multiply the allocations with the necessary cost. Now, the that one is 20 into 11. It comes to 20 into 11 plus the next is 10 into 17. Now, the next is 10 into 14 plus the next is 40 into 12 plus the next is 20 into 18 plus and the next is 50 into 12. It comes to 1970 rupees. So, this is the cost according to least cost method. Please like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.